Hi guys, I'm on live now. I don't see anyone has joined yet, so I'm just going to set up my ring light. Um, it's kind of back behind me. So we're just going to do this now. Yeah, I'm going to close my window. And I think that'll be better for you guys once people hop on. guys what is up i figured it would take a little bit for people to join oh some people just joined and then left so i immediately stopped i'm just forgetting that this is gonna be live stream all right i literally have never used this ring light before because i just randomly decided like while i was getting my tattoos that now is the start of my youtube life um Up. Hi, Joey. How are you? Thanks for joining. What do you want to talk about, Joey? It's just it's just me and you now. Oh, Joey doesn't like that. to add people how do I show people my link okay okay I just dropped it in there. You just got back from jujitsu. Uh, what'd you learn today? Let me plug this up. I feel like a mom. Like, what did you learn today in school, kids? Like, but I'm interested in whatever you learned today. Let me plug this up. Okay, this, this should be way better. Like I just plugged up my ring light. Do you guys like that? Is that is that the vibe? I'll close my window if it's better. Oh, that's way better. Hey guys. Am I mixed or Latina? Both of my biological parents are half black. So, you know, like Steph Curry. Like, I just identify as a black woman as, like, oh. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Well, I literally just bought that and just broke. That's crazy. The ring light that I spent all that time setting up just, like, fell over. But, you know, we ball. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on here. There might be children, who knows? I'm trying to like, will that stay up? I hope it does. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I just identify as a black woman as I have had an all like black experience and I grew up in a household 
full of black people and I'm ethnically like genetically or whatever um like mostly black oh you worked butterfly sweeps that's dope I've been trying to work more of those lately um because I want to get better at sweeping because I really want to work on my bottom game so that I can learn some more attacks from there when did I start jujitsu I started like the answer is kind of complicated because I started and then I quit a lot. So I started like just showing up like once a week um, in like June or like December 2021, maybe just like this popping up here and there that immediately tore my ACL and then had to take like nine months off. So I don't know. But um, I consider myself having two years of map time now, like when you add it up. Message retracted. Um, what's my type? My boyfriend. <laughs> um, that's my type. Thanks that it's way better. Am I religious slash spiritual? And do I believe in God? Um, I'm very spiritual. I wouldn't necessarily be religious. I definitely think that there's like a broader force that exists in the universe. Um, whether or not that's necessarily God, I don't actually know, but I definitely pray. And when I pray, I pray to God. So I'm sure that that's probably the most confusing answer. But um, I figure that we are not alone in this universe and that there are energies. I believe in manifestation. I believe in praying. Um, pray. I pray before and after every competition. I don't know. I feel like that's something that I've almost been like struggling with lately is like my faith in like a way that I'm always having like these um, metaphysical questions about it because like I was originally like super atheist. And then I had a lot of things happen in my life that feel like divine intervention. So I've recently become much more religious than I've previously been just because like um, of the experience that I've had. Um, yes, I am a blue belt. I actually um, just got my blue belt very recently. Very pretty, but just as ferocious on the map. What is your favorite submission? You seem to like those guillotines. I love guillotines, but actually my favorite, like what I love hitting on somebody is an Uma Plata. If I Uma Plata someone that day, I am so happy. Meanwhile, like if I guillotine somebody that day, it's like just like Tuesday. But if I Uma Plata somebody, I'm like jumping for joy, you know? Uh, I'm just gonna update. Uh, did all of you guys come from my uh, my Instagram or like just on here? Okay, um, I'm gonna take a, question, a picture of my screen so that people can see. So this is this is like me live Instagram posting right now. Hi guys, come join me. Ask me questions. I'll answer all of those in my chat. Um, as you guys can tell, I don't really like talk on camera. So this is like pretty new to me to be saying things. Okay, I just posted that on my story. Um, I love the head and arm triangle. I do love a good head and arm triangle. Like you can see a lot of my videos. I'm some, I'm attempting a head and arm triangle. I never actually seem to finish it in competition, but like I finish it, um, in the gym a lot. Instagram coming from YouTube. That's interesting. I don't know how that works. Like, are you guys just, like, are you guys coming from, um, YouTube just like scrolling? Have you ever thought about following Jesus Christ? Um, that's definitely in the cards for me probably at some point I've just become increasingly more religious like within the last couple of years just because I've been like feeling more connected to myself spiritually and like the world and stuff so who knows I feel like it's um a matter of God revealing himself to me um in me being receptive to that because if if something occurs that I can't explain I will be accepting of that um where oh I I've never seen the word gaddy before. I've only seen gat, gatty. That's a, that's a new one. 
saw you on Jiu Jitsu Sisterhood. Oh, thank you. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, it's so insane to me that there's this many of you guys now. Cause like when I first started posting, I literally just wanted somebody to see my first competition win. Like that's all I wanted was when I first posted on TikTok was like, look at me getting somebody. Cause that was also my first submission in competition. I know, I know technique is important, but how important is raw brute strength and grappling? And are you typically stronger than your opponents physically? That's a great question. And I, I feel like if you guys are the exact same weight, but, and have the same amount of technique, that's when strength starts to matter way more. But I feel like there's like, it's like a sliding scale, like some type of weird graph with like different points being pulled, probably like a triangle situation to like the different points of the triangle getting pulled. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like those, <laughs> those little triangle things. Like, um, I think it's definitely some type of balance between strength, technique, and size that is the equation of how matches are won. Because, like, I've definitely, like, there are a couple matches to where I know that somebody was, like, substantially more skilled than me, but I was just quicker than them or stronger than them. And I ended up winning the match, even though I know that they know more jujitsu than I do. Um, I also feel like even just knowing more jujitsu, you also have to know when to use each move and technique and how quick you need to be at it and how much strength you necessarily need to have. That was so badass in your ADCC trials. No, I was not at trials. I did the ADCC open. I did not do trials. How do I fight a mosquito out of my room? Um, probably a guillotine. <laughs> um, I just watched Schmitty YouTube and saw you take down four boxers. There was way more than four. Uh, maybe I'll make a YouTube video of that someday. Uh, I That feels like a fever dream at this point because like at that time, I felt like I didn't know that much jujitsu compared to what I know now. So it feels really good to like just constantly be outdoing myself. And have I always done no gi? And have I ever done gi? Uh, yes, I started like doing gi um, from like one of my first classes and I hated it. And I showed up like five more times and hated it every time. And I think if I dislike something six times, I probably just shouldn't be there. <laughs> so I feel like I gave ghee a fair shot. Uh, wasn't into it. Didn't like the smells of ghee. Like I feel like maybe it was just like the gym that I trained at, but like the constant like slight mildew smell, maybe everyone else was nose blind to it because they were like ghee people, but I felt like the ghees smelled. Um, you're so cute. Thank you. Uh, how did I get into jujitsu? I just wanted to fight my friends. <laughs> but it originally started with like um kind of like right before the pandemic like a bunch of my friends did martial arts um some including jujitsu and we would all just like hang out and like just joke around like who can beat who who can do this um and so we just like would spar sometimes and I was especially interested in the stuff that was on the ground and I just kind of had a really good time in my little backyard fight club situation before the pandemic. Um, that went on for a couple months of us just like getting together and like sparring occasionally, no actual training, just like straight up fight club <laughs> basically. And then um, the pandemic happened. And then like, like once the pandemic had like mostly eased up in like June, 2021, that's when I like attempted a class, didn't quite love it, tried again. And then like just slowly got into it. And then like, I was super into it at like, four months and then that's like when I tore my ACL like somewhere between like four and six months just showing up sometimes um will we be seeing you in any UFC events in the future if the UFC ever does a specific grappling only card that is definitely possible um but like UFC itself I really love grappling and I don't intend on doing any striking so I don't see that happening who is my professor? Scott Epstein and Gio Martinez. Okay, I'm gonna go on to the, um, I think you're going to grow here on YouTube, God bless. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I am definitely doing my best to grow, grow on YouTube. I, right now I just got a tattoo. I just got my eyebrows microbladed too. Like. I just got them like tattooed on more. It's like super dark right now because um 
I just got them done, but they're going to like heal substantially lighter than they are right now. Um, just cause like, I don't like feeling, I feel like look good, fight good. So I just wanted to kind of remove any barriers that I have to competing and get, get going. Um, okay. I'm going to go into the other questions that you guys answered, um, asked. Oh, just subbed us. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I think I'm going to start doing this like every Tuesday, maybe every Wednesday. Just got to see what my schedule looks like. But I, I'm really enjoying my time live streaming right now. Okay, I'm just throwing in my broadcast channel. Um, just throwing in my broadcast channel about that. Um, any tips for somebody signed up for their first comp in the near future? Um, you will always be simultaneously less and more prepared for your first competition. Like for my first competitions, I lost every single round of my first four competitions. Um, and it was really tough for me. And I feel like that was because I didn't know how to cope with my own adrenaline. Cause I would just become like a crazy person zombie with it until I eventually realized that like that sharpness, that clamminess, that feeling in your chest, you have to use it. Like you can't let it use you. You have to accept it almost like an energy drink. Like imagine freaking out when you drink coffee. Like that's the best analogy for it. So I would say just like, do your best to relax. And I used to hate it when people would say this to me because like I would just be like, I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to win. Um, but now I do believe like jujitsu is a performance and jujitsu is art. Go out there and make art. Like go out there and have fun making art is how I view it at this point. So that would that's something that I think is the best. Um, silly but genuine noob question is tickling aloud. Um, like in a competition, I think it'd be really hard to tickle somebody in the first place. Um, just because of all that adrenaline, you probably won't laugh if somebody tickles you. Um, sorry, I was like messing the broadcast channel because somebody was like, you're done doing questions? And I'm like, no, I'm on live. Um, Oh, here's my dog. Here's Merlin. This is my baby. He wants me to go play ball with him. Maybe I'll live stream that in a bit. Who knows? Um, <sighs> you probably wouldn't laugh in a competition, but in the room, Smitty has definitely gotten out of like some of my submissions by tickling me. Um, like whenever I ran like a choke, he'll try to tickle my feet. Who is harder to face in your penance? Uh, in your experience, taller or shorter? The hardest opponent for me is always like somebody who is like stocky and like built, like somebody that I can't move. Um, I, if I have to choose between grappling like a tall and lanky person or choose between grappling like a short and stocky person, I am always going to choose that tall and lanky person because I feel like I can probably like lift them easier and like get around their neck easier. So I would prefer that. Um, when is the last time I got in a fight or almost got in a fight? <laughs> I don't live the type of life where I'm almost getting in a fight. The only time I've ever gotten in a fight, like in a public situation was like this, I was like, um, I was at a bar and I was just like walking around with my friends and the, my friends were already getting kicked out of the club. So they were getting kicked out and I was like looking for my friends and like, sh I admittedly, I probably was shoving people out of the way because I was trying to follow my friends out. So some girl, as all my friends have already been taken out of the building, they've, they're, they're already out of the building. They don't know what's going on. Um, some girl like pulls my hair because I guess I stepped on her foot while I was like pushing people out of the way. And like, she pulls my hair and I immediately like, I'm wearing like really big heels. So I like fall to the ground as she like pulls my hair. And then I immediately attempt like the worst triangle attempt while she's like on the ground on top of me and I'm trying it and I'm like hitting her in the face like from my guard so I guess I'm the person who pulls guard in a street fight um she I had no 
anything wrong with me besides like the pulled hair and she had a lot of bruises and was like I had a nosebleed or whatever so I feel like I won but I'm not really proud of um proud of that where did everyone go I know where did they go Ooh. Okay, you guys are going to see me redo this a couple times. It says no one's here, but then I'm still getting, like, more questions in the chat. Like, I don't know how that works. Is pinching allowed? No, pinching is not allowed. Um, but it just kind of happens incidentally sometimes. But basically, um, if the ref doesn't see it, it's allowed. Favorite exercises to build raw strength? I really love my grip strengthener, just, like, while I'm, like, um, driving or just like sitting there at work, just like using the grip strengthener for my hands. Cause I feel like having like a strong grip itself is really important. And I also just do a lot of like squats. I know it says, it says that there's no one in here, but I've gotten like two more questions since like it last went. So I don't, I don't know how that works. Yeah, There's three separate people have said something and it says one. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, maybe it like has a lag or something, but either way, I'm just gonna answer questions and we're just gonna keep hanging out because I am here until, um, I actually got lunch just to eat on lunch with you guys, eat on camera with you guys. So this is like a little like mukbang situation, I guess, but I hadn't even started eating. Are wrestlers hard to face in competition? No, they're actually my favorite to face because I will guillotine them on the takedown. So please wrestle me in competition. I love that. I'm here from Instagram. Thank you being here from Instagram. Hold on. Hi, Chris. Hi, I'm on live stream. Yes. Oh, no. I'm on live. I'm going to get back to the live. Okay. All right. I love you. Bye. Whoops. I uh, just got a call. Um, favorite music? I love rock music and I love like rap, rap music too. So you will always catch me listening to like rock or rap. Um, I've really been on like a like an old dad rock kick lately. So like Avenged Sevenfold and like um like Avenged Sevenfold and like Theory of a Dead Man and like Hinder. Like I just like am constantly listening to like By the Way and um, Saving Abel and all that type of stuff lately. Still here, only here for a bit. It's already 9.45 p.m. Oh, well, thank you for joining. I really appreciated you being on here and asking me questions. Um, I appreciate getting to interact with each and every one of you guys. What made me start BJJ? Um, I just wanted to fight my friends. <laughs> but I also feel like jujitsu was like a little chess match. So I really like how it's um, not just like Violence is also like about finesse. Do I think I could beat an average untrained man in a street fight? Why or why not? Yes. Um, but it also depends, like, how does this fight start? Because what if he just, like, rolls up and punches me in the face immediately? Then I've lost. So, like, probably. But, like, if I'm aware it's going to happen, I think I would win. But if I get snuck up on, I feel like my odds are lower. Do I like System of a Down? I do like System of a Down. Not my favorite, but like I will never say turn that off if it's on, you know? Oh, yeah. You're a beast. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How 
How often do I grapple with my boyfriend and have I beat him before in a role? Um, <laughs> I grapple with him um, basically every time we train together, which we normally train together like Saturdays and Sundays. And we always start off as each other's rolling partner. And then I'm not saying if I've ever beat him in a role. Ever rolled with a fan? Um, like, I don't know. My friends are my fans. Mm. have I ever tried judo um no I've never tried judo um I'm really bad at hip tossing people um what made me get involved I like that jiu-jitsu is like a chess match and I in enjoy how it makes everything else much more silent for me I feel like very few things in life are able to like get my complete attention because I'm always like so ADHD but, like, when I'm doing jiu-jitsu, I feel, like, complete focus. And I really like that feeling. And I just love the art. I love the community. And I love the immersion that it provides. Like, if you do jiu-jitsu, you functionally don't have to do anything else. Because it'll provide and everything. Favorite cardio to cut weight? Just get in the sauna. Um, start off with, um, with like, those... The... What's that? The, the I'm, I'm making a bike motion. A, a bike motion. Um, so, like, the... What's it called? I don't know. If you know what it's called, comment below. It's like something bike. Um, whatever. But um, the one where you have to use your hands and your body, like I would say like do that for like two minutes and just go get in the sauna. And then like I actually love like um, using my phone in the sauna. And recently I've been on Amazon trying to like get one of those like um, temperature sleeves that um, go on your phone so that you can use your phone while in the sauna but they don't have them for an iphone max why is it called roll not something cool like choke wrestle or brazilian jiu-jitsu i don't know um you just say like do you want to roll when like you're rolling or like rolling footage or like jiu-jitsu footage or something i don't know i don't know why it's called roll Um, what's a good submission for someone much larger than yourself? I'm always trying to grapple with my brother and he is a big dude. Um, a guillotine or your rear naked choke. Like everyone has a neck and if you can grab it, it literally does not matter how big that person is. Meanwhile, like, yes, you can do the same thing with arm bars or like any type of leg lock. But I feel like when you're dealing with those, like a matter of strength also matters. Um, I feel like chokes are the most surefire way to finish a bigger opponent. Yeah. Fan bike, fan bike. Maybe you can try enrolling to the UFC or WWE. I don't think they, like, do rolling. I mean, not rolling. Enrolling? I don't think that they do that. I think they, like, find you. Or, like, maybe you sign up? I don't know. Do you sign up for the UFC? Or do they find you? Mm -hmm. I just saw that comment. My son, who was 11, does jujitsu. I show him your videos all the time. Thank you so much. Like, I love it when kids come up to me at competitions and, like, tell me that, specifically little girls usually, who tell me that they, um, that they're, like, really inspired by me doing jujitsu and all that stuff. I truly appreciate that. I really love the support. And I always strive to keep my page as PG as possible. Not saying that, like, I'm a pervert role model, but, like, you know, I don't, oh, I'm eating Chipotle meeting Chipotle and having a nice Chipotle time. If you guys want to see the Chipotle, I don't know if you guys do. I can bring it down. Is that, is that happier for you guys? Um, like I strive for kids whose parents don't mind them listening to rap music to be able to watch my videos. That's my goal. Because I don't want to be, like, entirely, like, only for kids, so I don't make that, like, my target audience. But I still try to be consumable for kids by, like, you know, being decent, wearing clothes, not being vulgar to an extent, you know? Hmm. What 
Ooh, that's a good question. Are there any pet peeves when it comes to rolling? Smelly training partners who arrived smelly. You can get smelly while you're there. That's fine. But do not arrive to roll with me smelly. Like, we cannot be, like, going for the first roll and you already smell bad. That is a no. And then um, people who, even if they didn't, this kind of counts as arriving sweaty, but, like, people whose gear smells like mildew or, like, pee, no. Because, like, if you don't wash your gear right away, they can get, like, this ammonia, like, pee smell, like, entrenched into the rash guard disgusting and I'm not a fan of that like you can sometimes smell that somebody has washed their rash guard but it just like has that like ammonia soaked in it go buy some Autobahn fix it throw away the rash guard buy another rash guard do not roll like that do I also lift how much do I bench squat and deadlift um I basically only squat and I squat like my body weight like 135 ish do you I get do I get hot with all that hair yeah, it's always in a bun. I feel like a lot of people don't know I have as much hair as I actually do. It's always in a bun. Who arrived smelly? So many people have arrived smelly. Who didn't arrive smelly at one point? Like, I, I've been guilty of arriving sweaty before, but... Mm. You can try MMA, kickboxing, and wrestling or Muay Thai because you're good. I wrestled at UCLA, I don't, uh, but I haven't done the... um. The other things. I only wrestled for like two quarters though. I'm a blue belt and my daughter is a gray belt. I show her your videos too. Thank you. I love it when little girls watch my videos. I love it when they come up to me in competition. It is so beautiful that I'm helping getting more women in the sport. Like one of my favorite messages to receive is people saying that like I'm the reason they got into jujitsu. Good night. Um, should you wear perfume slash fragrance to train? Um, if I already have it on, yeah. Or, like, just a little bit, because I like, I like to feel feminine, like, but no, like, overpowering sense. Like, I don't wear the same perfume as I do in my daily life, um, to jujitsu, or, like, I wear substantially less, less of it. I usually have, like, a scented lotion or something on and a little bit of, like, uh, vanilla apricot. UCLA, but only two quarters. UCLA is not D1. UCLA is club wrestling. So literally you just sign up and you're allowed to wrestle. Could you maybe in the future make videos of how to get in and out of submissions? I've been watching a lot of videos on like the DARS lately. Um, someday I will definitely do that. Right now, like I'm only a blue belt. And like, I don't think um, people less than purple belts are allowed to teach online at 10th Planet. So I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. I am so starving. I didn't expect so many people to like be paying attention. So I haven't even like really eaten that many um, bites. Hmm. I'll get to that in one second. Um, how do promotions work? Some gyms just hand out belts like candy. Some gyms like um take a really long time to promote you. Like, um, I, like, didn't stay at one gym that consistently, so it just took a little bit longer for me to get promoted. But typically, like, I would say you're going to spend about two to three years at each belt. Like, usually a blue belt takes most people two years, and then, like, um, a purple belt is, like, another two years. So, like, typically if somebody's a purple belt, they've been training for, like, five years, but I've definitely, like, met people who have a purple belt in, like, two or three years um, at certain gyms, but... I feel like it's also a matter of skill because, like, those purple belts that I know have gotten their purple belts really quickly are, like, extremely talented or came from, like, a wrestling background. So they already came in, like, um, a good grappler. I need to eat more food. Hmm. 
I see those questions. Don't eat too fast because I know you guys see me like, I really want to answer these questions, but I really need to take more food. <laughs> like, <laughs> and get some bites in. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm just so excited to talk to you guys. <laughs> Okay, so how long does it take to be a black belt or, like, brown belt? Most black belts I know have been training for, like, at least eight years before they got their black belt. Because you're going to spend, like, two years per belt. So, like, so it goes, like, white, two years, brown, <laughs> whoops, white, two years. Um, and then you get your blue belt. You're probably going to be there for, like, another two or three years. So now you're at five years in your purple belt. And then, like, probably, like, another two years at purple belt. So, like seven years to get a brown belt but um I think some people spend less time at each belt like I know some people like it took them a really long time to get a blue belt but they'll get a purple belt within a year and then like a brown belt within a year or two after that so I think it's definitely possible um how do you handle when people are very aggressive and go all out when they roll you and do I dislike it it really depends on like the size of the person and their skill if that's like a problem for me or like what I have coming up next if it's a girl my same, like, size and skill and I have a competition coming up, I love it. So, but if it's, like, a really big guy and I don't have anything coming up and I actually just competed and I'm kind of injured, I hate it and I'll literally stop the roll just to not be rolling anymore with that person. So, it really just depends on a bunch of different variables if I have a problem with it. Um, but I do like getting, like, more aggressive training partners when I have a competition coming up um, that are bigger than me. Um, am I from California? What am I mixed with? And do I have any tips for beginners who want to engage in jujitsu? And have I heard of Jason Chambers, who is a jujitsu expert? That's a lot of questions in one. So I'm going to start with the first one. Um, I am from California. I am black and white. Um, my, both of my biological parents are half black and half white. So I, I, sorry, my dog is bothering me. So I um, am mostly black. Like I did the ancestry thing and it told me that I'm 60% black. Um, do I have any tips for beginners? Show up. Oh, stop, Merlin. Please, please go away. I'm sorry, baby. I don't want to hang out. Not right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> do I have any tips for your beginners? um show up show up often and you will get good quick um I would say that's one of the like most exciting parts about being super super new is like every single day you're learning something entirely new that you've never seen before um meanwhile like as you spend more time in jujitsu like I would say like I've had somebody say this to me before I don't even know if it's true don't don't come for me for this but like somebody said to me that like by the time you're two years in you already know most of the moves in jujitsu you're just bad at all of them and that's definitely true. Like when you're just start out, like every single thing is like a new thing and it's exciting. Meanwhile, like by the time you've been training for a while, like you're aware of like most positions, you just don't know how to do them. So that's just very like, the more you know what you don't know, the more like infuriating it is because then you're just like, oh my God, how am I ever going to like get good? Meanwhile, like when you're super new, you're like, oh my God, I've made these strides. Meanwhile, like while you're, um, you've been training for a little bit, you're like making little steps rather than strides. Let me get some bites in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you compete in weight classes or no? Because I've seen smaller and bigger people go at it. So that's like open weight. So um, that's usually the open weight or absolute division. Some people call it different things, but it's essentially like a weight class list of division, which is typically like an ex extra division, like at the end of a tournament. I always do it. 
Um, because I like grappling with bigger opponents and testing myself. Um, and then sometimes people will sign up for like a weight class above them because they feel like they do better with bigger people or like maybe they have a lot of teammates at the lower division and like they're the coach or something. Like I saw some, something like that happen at ABCC. So where this one guy grappled at like a weight class above him because he had all of his students in the weight class below him. So he just went up and he literally like won the entire ADCC, which is like insane to see like this like giant man. Like I would say like the guy he went against, like don't quote me on this, was probably like 250. Then this guy was maybe like 180 and he and the 180 guy won. It was the most insane like finals match at ADCC that I've ever seen. So like go check that out. Um, if you know who I'm talking about, drop it in the chat. I would love to, like, um, know exactly who it is. Is my coach Miles Morales? Yes. Um, I am still coached by the Black Spider-Man as well. Um, he trains alongside me at 10th Planet West LA still. So, like, um, he definitely still coaches me at competitions, and we still hang out. We talk every day. But it's, like, um, he just has a different training schedule than I do. So we just don't get to interact as much. And like he decided to focus more on like his content creation and like his media um, more than coaching. Um, jiu-jitsu is a sport people don't mind sucking. Yeah, you have to you have to be okay with being bad at jujitsu in order to get good at jujitsu. Like it's really an ego death when you first get there and you realize everyone there can beat you up. Hmm. I just saw that question a little bit further up. Um. Oh, if you schedule more of these, I'll try to show up and learn more about you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I think I'm gonna do this more regularly. Like I didn't expect to have this much fun and like I'm having a great time. I really love that I'm starting to like get close to you guys because I feel like I'm just like I post and then you guys never actually get to talk to me. So I'm trying to be more active with that with my broadcast channel with this going on. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it more. Um, somebody earlier than that asked, do I often roll with women or men? Any tips for guys in their role with women? Um, I roll with like, if there's a girl in the class, I'll spend like typically more rounds rolling with her. Um, and if there's like a bunch of women available, sometimes, sometimes I won't even roll with the men, but if there's no women available, which happens like occasionally, it just kind of depends on the gym. Um, that probably didn't make any sense. <laughs> that was probably just gibberish. Um, it just depends on the gym. It depends on the day. If I have the choice to roll with a woman or a man, I'm usually going to pick the woman. Um, but it also depends on like who the guy is. Like if like they're like a higher belt who can like show me something or like I'm preparing for competition, I might pick like the more skilled guy, but generally I just want to roll with women. And tips for guys when they roll with women. Um, Roll with a woman like she's a woman. Do not roll with her like she's a small man. Um, treat her equitably, not equally. Like, you're aware that you're stronger than her, most likely. Roll with her with, like, a specific goal in mind. Like, okay, I want to hit this triangle. Or, okay, I want to um, see if I can hit this move in line. Like, don't roll with her trying to destroy her. Which I feel like is, like, really, it's, like, where women get injured when they roll with a man who's trying to roll with them like a man their size. I would simply not compete against a judo expert. Yeah, you have to be bad at every sport to be good. Let me eat more food. Hmm. You guys have been so active that I haven't even gotten the chance to answer my Instagram question. So that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to eat food for like 30 seconds straight, and then I'm going to answer the Instagram questions. Hold on, my... Roommate just asked me to move my car. So give me like 30 seconds. I will type in chat too, just in case somebody joins. Um. Uh. 
Okay. All right, I'm back. What's up? I never call out a rum woman. I <laughs> Roman. Okay. You said, I never call out a woman to roll. I just wait for a woman to call me out. I think that's really smart and respectful. I feel like more guys should take that approach. Um, I don't think you're wrong. If you... I don't think calling out a woman is wrong, but I feel like it definitely helps women be more comfortable if they wait to come up to you. Plus, like, I saw, like, my dog just, he's still going. Um, I saw this, like, um, this, like, safety thing for kids say, like, that some parents instruct, like, their kids to go up to a person rather than the person who came up to them when, like, they're lost. Because, like, the odds of you selecting a creepy person is, like, lower than, like, a creepy person come and selecting you, which made a lot of sense to me at the time that I heard it. I don't even know where I got that from, but I feel like the same in like jujitsu. Like I usually watch a guy roll with women or like with people smaller than him um, before I ask him to roll just to like make sure he's a safe training partner. Hi, Isabella. That's awesome. At Noggin Upland recently. Thanks so much for coming and saying hi. If you came and say, saw, said hi. I'm pretty sure you did. I think I remember exactly what you're saying. Okay, let me take some more bites. Hmm. Feel free to keep asking questions. I'm just like starving and eating, eating quickly. Hmm. In my experience for grappling, what's more important, um, your upper body strength or lower body strength? I feel like I'm definitely more upper body strong. Um, so I feel like whichever one you're actually stronger in ends up being better. Like say like if you're a really strong upper body and you have like a not strong lower body, you might not gravitate towards triangles. Meanwhile, like if you have a strong lower body, you might gravitate more towards like stuff that suits that. So I would say like right now I'm working on like getting stronger legs because I want to be more explosive when I do takedowns. And to like be able to like do more lifts and slams. <laughs> so I just want stronger legs right now because I feel like I'm already like buff. I'm already buff. Already am buff enough to where I don't. I've already hit my upper body goals. I want to hit my lower body goals. Thanks, Damien. He's like, I'm concerned. You're eating too fast. I'm concerned too. I'll eat slower for you. Hmm. Any recommendations for a good BJJ book? 
read breathe in 32 a oh, red breathe in 32 principles so far i have actually never read a jiu-jitsu book personally i would rather just watch a video of somebody doing jiu-jitsu or explaining jiu-jitsu than read about jiu-jitsu so um i don't have any recommendations just because that's not my choice in literature when i read i just like to read science fiction novels i read fight club a bunch <laughs> does that count i feel like it's more like an mma novel Hmm. When is my next jujitsu competition? Um, I might be competing at that Grappling X in Pasadena in the next like week or two, but I know for sure that my next grappling competition, I'm going to be doing the ADCC Open in Phoenix. Um, so I have that one for sure. The rest of them are just kind of like up in the air. What am I munching on? I'm eating some Chipotle right now. This is me. This is my truth at the moment. How much can I bicep curl? Like 25 pounds. Congrats on my win. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to get into the Instagram questions soon. Do you think I should like start a new live to, for my Instagram questions or do you think I should stay on this one? Like Instagram questions? Because like right now I've just been answering chat questions. Would you guys like rejoin? Hmm. That's a really good question. Um, how did I get started? And are you guys able to see each other's questions? Because um, I really like that. Um, how did you get started? I started in February and I have loved watching you get where you're at. Also, how do you get past feeling awkward at the gym because she's lonely? Um, I would say like, just be nice to people. Start conversations with people when you can. Ask a lot of questions when you're rolling because, like, you're in such close proximity to friend, uh, people that you're going to make friends with them pretty quickly. But also keep in mind, like, this is something that I wish that more people told me immediately. Like, my very first gym that I started training at, they hated me. They hated me. And that's an entirely separate, like, story time. But I just, like, never felt like I fit into the gym because, like, they would – um. I've been training there for a while and I didn't really make friends with people there. Like I would see them like all go hang out with each other outside of the gym, not invite me. And I would like see like group events planned. I wasn't invited and like little things where I was just constantly ostracized. And at first I thought it was just because I was new. And then like I saw new people come and go that were allowed into the group. Meanwhile, like I wasn't. Um, and that really hurt. And cost me like a lot of anguish. And I really realized that those people just aren't my people. Um, and I haven't had that problem since. Like I, um, after that, I started training with Smitty and my team at UCLA. And now I'm at West LA 10th Planet also with Smitty. I realized that you can't make people love you. And you can be like the best peach in the garden and they still don't like peaches. That's one thing my grandma said to me when I was like crying my grandma about it. But um, so I would say like, do your best to make friends, but also accept when friends don't want to make you and proceed accordingly. Don't stop jujitsu or anything. But I'm just saying like, if you've been training somewhere for like six months and you don't have any friends there, maybe this just isn't a good fit for you socially. And you should just go train somewhere else. Cause like, I used to think like, wherever I go, you take yourself with you. And I would always like introspect on like why I'm not making friends, why I'm having the problems that I'm having. And like, I would just be like, so in my head about it. And then I eventually like realized that um, I just wasn't a fit there and I haven't had that problem since. And I realized that like, I have a lot of love to give to like all of my friends, family, and anyone who's in my life that if, um, if somebody's not able to accept that love and friendship, then I have to also accept 
that they don't want that from me either, which was really, that was a really hard lesson for me to learn. Because at first I was just like, why don't they like me? I'm going to make them like me. And then the answer is go away. Like, <laughs> don't let somebody tell you twice they don't want you. So I, I had to learn that lesson when I first started. That was maybe a tangent. Um, who knows? I got to let that hurt go. Um, would I consider rolling in a live stream? Yes, I roll um, during live streams with Smitty. But I think I'm going to start, like, maybe I should live stream my practices. Would you guys watch that? Um, just say yes or no in chat if, like, you guys, um, if you guys would watch that. Um, UCLA College, yeah. I went to UCLA and I graduated with a degree in sociology and a minor in music industry. Uh, in 2023, I wrestled for two quarters on the UCLA club team. Um, and I did jujitsu there. UCLA has a jujitsu program and that's like one of the places that I started because like I was training at my first gym and UCLA like concurrently um and I would say like my UCLA coach was just like so instrumental to helping me become like who I am today like I would have quit jujitsu like right after I tore my ACL if not for my UCLA coach I give him all the flowers in the world um he treats he teaches at Ocean Grown BJJ um off Pico in Los Angeles go check it out if you like gi but he doesn't teach enough gi to where I proceeded to train there after graduation. So I wanted to go somewhere with no gi. How tall am I and how old am I? I am 5'4 and 24. Who's my favorite artist? Right now, I've really been like loving Eminem. I, I don't even think that's necessarily my favorite artist. I'll show you guys like my most played or something. You guys are saying yes in there, and I don't even know what you guys are saying yes to. Um, <laughs> I think I asked a question a while ago, but um, that's like my um my most played is Georgia by Kevin Abstract, then Christ Consciousness by Joey Badass, Too Comfortable by Future, If You See K by The Stripped, It's Okay, Louis V, Where Do You Go by Jesse Murphy, Skin and Bones, The Elephant, Fights Don't Matter by Iz Kirk, How to Disappear by Lana Del Rey, and then Doomsday by The Architects. And then Wasted Age by We Came as Romans, Sand on the Beach by Fiddler. Erase the Pain by The Palisades. Run into the World by The Smith Root Band. Surround Sound. Conscience by Kodak Black. Love Me. Pretty Taste the Money. 21 Savage. Um, I think I probably have the most Fiddler in my most played. Like, that's the only artist there that has, like, multiple songs on there. So, I guess, like, my favorite artist is Fiddler by, like, that logic. Mmm. Yeah, maybe I'll live stream some of my training sessions sometime. I just got a bunch of tattoos. So I've just been like sitting out of training lately. I'm just trying to rest up, recover. Oh, there's 10 of you guys and we've been on for an hour. That's good. I always get lettuce on the side so that um, I can, like, make my own salad as, like, I finish the first amount. Um, what do I get from Chipotle? I get um, usually white rice and black beans with steak. And then I get, like, extra tomato, corn, cheese, and sour cream. A lot of sour cream. I love sour cream. When I get lettuce on the side, um, I get guacamole if I'm feeling financially free. 
<laughs> but it depends. Has someone ever accidentally farted while we were rolling? Yes. Um, they just said sorry and kept it moving or just not acknowledged it. I prefer for them to not say anything. I want to happen and I want them to pretend like it didn't happen. So don't say anything. And also <laughs> I've farted on you while rolling. I didn't say anything either. <laughs> but like, it just, it, it happens. It happens. You just have to move past it. Like, you're in such proximity to somebody that where you just have to, you just have to live and let live. You just have to live and let live. Just don't say anything. Whether you're the farter or the fartee, don't say anything. Because then it will be you someday. If you're the person who's, like, complaining that somebody farted on you, it's going to be you. So, might be you someday. Get some more bites in. <laughs> oh no, jail. Jail. I'm sorry. That was top secret information. I am going to publish this, um, this live stream, but like, I know it's going to be like buried in like the middle. So like, it's going to be like, a, if you know, you know, situation, the fart story. This isn't the only fart story. It's happened many times. <laughs> For better or for worse. Um, I'm just looking at the um Ooh. Yeah. When you fart on somebody on the mat, I think the proper etiquette is to not say anything and just kind of like slightly walk over to like another section of the mat and just don't do any like triangle chokes for a while. No, I don't play video games. No, if it's your friend, you fart on them on purpose. You do it on purpose. Neon If somebody neon bellies me, I'm going to fart and I will tell them. I'm like, hey, stop or I'm going to fart on you. And that's just what's going to happen. And if they keep going, it's it's up to them. I. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to answer more questions. How do I, how do I see the questions on Instagram just wasn't showing me like, um, the questions. Like when I click like the, oh, somebody said, would I collab? Um, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, do you love wrestling? I love wrestling so much. Um, I almost prefer, like, sometimes I like to just have, like, wrestling-only rounds just for, like, being able to experiment with, like, takedowns and pins without um, the fear of, like, any type of other submission. Um, but overall, Jiu-Jitsu has my heart. How many kids would you want to have? In which age do you want to have one? Somebody asked me on Instagram. I want to have like six and I want to have a child probably within the next like five years. Um, I want to have my first child at 30 years old and be done having them by like 35. I hope for multiples, but if that doesn't happen, that's fine. At least three, but no more than six. 
What is my zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. I just messaged that. You see, oh, what? Yeah, six. Six kids. Hopefully. If God blesses me with six kids, I'll have six kids. Okay, and then, do I like Aikido? I don't have any opinions about Aikido, so I can't like it or hate it. Um, do I feel like I could defend myself in public if somebody attacked? Yes, I would. Um, I feel like I would definitely be able to defend myself and win against, like, most sized people and given the right circumstances. Um, as long as I know what's happening before, like, as long as I sense that something sus is occurring. Have any jujitsu players that may have influenced you to get involved in the sport? One of the first jujitsu matches that I ever saw that I thought was super cool was Sloan Climbers match. Like, I used to watch him all the time when I very first started jujitsu, and that was just, like, a really big in um, inspiration for me. And I just uh, appreciate the, the influence. And, hmm. Also, like, Amanda Bruce, I've always looked up to her. Um... I used to watch a, like a lot of like um Lanny Strybotch's stuff. Somebody just said give us a heads up when you go live. I I'm here. I gave you guys the heads up. Just wanted to say hi and that I'm a huge fan of yours. Thanks so much. Um, I really appreciate that, Andre Buchanan84. I really appreciate like all of you guys watching my content and engaging with me. It means the world to me. Um, what's the most outrageous thing I did for a laugh? Started a YouTube channel? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm 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 pretty known to like tell some not funny jokes sometimes. I'm a little I'm a little gesture. Any hidden talents? I like to draw. Um I like to write papers. Um I hmm I can cook well. Um, would I consider MMA in the future? No, because I do not want to get CTE because I might go to law school someday. We'll see. Do I practice BJJ for the competition aspect, the self-defense aspect, or both? Um, I definitely practice for, like, sport more than anything but self-defense is also like really important to me so I love knowing that I'm able to defend myself um as well have I ever tried judo no I have not tried judo am I considering any other disciplines like Muay Thai or Wing Chun no jujitsu and wrestling I like wrestling um another Muay Thai question Technique breakdowns. What are your favorite techniques to use in competition? I love guillotining someone. Um, I love a good rear naked choke. Um, I love a good body lock. I, I'm actually a fan of a straight ankle lock, but um, every time I've tried a straight ankle lock in competition, it got me caught. The cauliflower. Um, a little bit, but not really. Like, my ear just, I have so much hair that you can't even tell. But, like, I don't know. I, like, drained it once or twice. And, like, it's just a little bit fatter than it used to be. It has, like, a little divot right there. Um, this one has, I don't know. There's nothing going on with this one. So that's kind of, like, the reference. That my ear, but my, my, both my ears just used to be, like, substantially, like, flatter than um, it used to be.
Mm. What's my overall long-term goal in the sport? Oh, that's so funny. Jason asked me that question again, but somebody had just asked me that on um, Instagram. So I guess that's for both of you guys. Um, my overall, like, okay, so say 10 years from now, everything goes great. And I'm exactly who I want to be. I probably own a gym. I'm like a black belt. And I've like 180cc a couple times. I've 180cc trials a couple times. And then like, I have like a nice, happy family. And I get to teach my kids jujitsu all day and like empower young women. Um, so that's like my, it's like if everything goes right, that's what it looks like type way. So overall, I see myself just being um, a really good competitor um, as I progress through the different belts level, like getting different accolades, super fights and like various things with that and eventually winning ADCC and hopefully someday opening a gym of my own. So those are my, those are my ultimate goals for myself in jiu-jitsu. It's so confusing, like fixing your hair in like the the thing because it's like mirrored i'm like which side is what happening on um what made me start getting into wrestling um so i got into wrestling when i was already doing jujitsu and i wanted to be better at jujitsu um so i joined the ucla club wrestling because it happened right after jujitsu and i didn't get good at wrestling but i think i'm an okay counter wrestler I'm going to get off live because I think those are all the questions that I have. But if you guys have more questions, I'm down to kick it for a little bit longer. You guys want to say anything else? You got to speak now or forever hold your peace. Or at least until like next week. I plan on starting to do this like once a week. Okay, guys. So I am now going to conclude my very first live stream. So I am so happy that all of you guys came and hung out with me. It was so fun. And Thank you guys for all the questions, comments, engagement. Thank you guys for your thank yous too in there. Um, somebody said, thanks for the live. You have good energy. I really appreciate that. I want to get more engaged with you guys. Like, I feel like I don't really like talk online a lot. I just like post my videos and go. But I want to like build more of a connection with you guys. I want I want you guys to see me go. I want you guys to see me more as like a person than like just a competitor. So I'm working on that. I'm working on being able to build that. And... Hopefully you guys will see me progress more. Bye.